Hey, uh, may I speak to Mr. Jocko Magicamo? I want to ask him some questions for a book I'm writing about racing. Uh, he's, uh, I'll be in in one second. Can you hang on for a minute or two? I'll, or so? I'll hang on. Thank you. Hey Jocko, my name is Douglas Kenny and first off I want to thank you for that signed t-shirt that you sent me. I'm wondering if you I'm wondering if you'd like to answer some questions for a book I'm writing about racing. Yeah, I, I don't have much time right now if you want to call back later, but if it's only a minute or two, sure. It's only gonna take a minute. Sure, Who, go right ahead then, that, that'll be fine. Thanks. Who was your You're best welcome. for who was your best friend in the garages? My best friend in the NASCAR garages? Yeah, NASCAR. My best friend had to be a driver or a crew? Ah, uh, driver. Okay, driver would be Ricky Rudd. Ah, cool, interesting. And uh, who was... What's your favorite Indy 500 finish that you've watched in your life? Um, let me think that one over the best finish. Um, uh, let me think now. I'm going to have to probably say Mario's last one. Yep. Mario's. Okay. Mario's, yep. Thank you. So on that... On that first question on Ricky Rudd, that's why I said driver would be Ricky Rudd, but um, person uh, would be um, Buddy Parrott. Ah, Buddy Parrott. That's really that's interesting. Yeah. Very nice guy, honorable guy, and um, I helped him out one time, and and he never forgot it. He said, um, Jocko, he says, if, if you can help me out this one time, I'll be with you throughout your whole racing career. And he'd never let me down. He was there. Anytime I needed help, he was there. That's really cool, man. I'm glad you had such yep. a cool guy like him on your team. Very honorable, very honest, and uh, one person that was extremely devoted and hardworking to the sport and the the individuals involved within the sport. Okay, cool. And what's your favorite race victory of all the races you've won in your career? This is the last question. It's good. I guess it's going to be my very first race, my very first um, race at Lime Rock, 1972, the Camel GT. Um, it was International Motorsports. It was my first race. It was a Camel GT, I think it's 350. And that was at Lime Rock in 1972. Ah, really nice. The yep. first victory is always even, the best, I, they say. I did not even have a professional license. I didn't have a license, but the, the, um, the promoters and owners of International, of IMSA, IMSA, International Motorsport Association, John Bishop and his guys were watching me practice with a Camaro. And they said, did you realize that that Camaro would be maybe in the top 20 at our event this weekend? I said, no, I had no idea. And they said, would you like to run the car? And I said, oh, I'd love to, but I have no license. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to SCCA school soon. I've been practicing a lot here, and I have my father that's, that's given me all the pointers that I need. Um, and they said, we're going to give you a provisional license, and if you do well, then, then we'll give you an honor, uh, a professional license at the end. And, um, and uh, I did. I, I won the race, and I ended up uh, getting my professional uh, IMSA license, which turned into the professional.
professional Trans Am license, which turned into a professional USAC license, NASCAR license, and a number of other licenses that I had. Hmm. That's really interesting. Me too. Well, thanks for the interview. You're welcome, and good luck with your book. And keep, keep me informed when it comes out. Send, send us a notice that it's out, and we'll try to hunt it down and buy one. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Have a good day.